Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. I wanted to do a quick tutorial and show you how I made this thank you card. Let's get started. We're going to create a new project. We're going to insert images. And we only need one thing for this card, and that is a rectangle. Grab this one, insert. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is copy, paste. I'm going to leave that one right there. We're going to click back on this one. We're going to go to edit. And we're going to make this our card base. It's going to be a standard A2 size card. So we're going to unlock keep proportions. We're going to make the width 5.5 and the height 4.25. We're going to click on the one over here in the layers panel that is highlighted. That's the one that's selected. We're going to change that to white. All right, now we're going to grab this other rectangle. We're going to look at the edit panel, going to unlock keep proportions. We're going to change the width to 5.5 and we're going to change the height to 0.75. And that should perfectly line up with this. We're going to click on it in the layers panel and we're going to turn it to this shade called Jade. You can make it whatever color you want. So I want to click on the white rectangle and I'm going to look over here at the coordinates. The X coordinate is at 6.5. So I'm going to click back on the green and I'm going to put that at 6.5. Now those are perfectly lined up. I'm going to use my down arrow and line it up on the bottom. So now I'm going to draw a box around both rectangles and I'm going to go over here in the layers panel and I'm going to click flatten. And what that did was make this one piece. We have one layer. Okay, we're going to set that aside. We're going to add text. We're going to type in all caps Thank you. And I'm going to change the font to Cricut Font and Basics. That's a nice chunky font. And I'm going to set it over here. I kind of want it to fit about like that. So I just want to get my sizing right. And if you're trying to make this along with me, uh, let's see, if you click on it, the width is at 4.93, the height is at 0.79. Okay, I want this to, uh, actually I'm going to weld it together, so we're going to go over here in the edit panel and we're going to go to letter spacing. And I'm going to start pushing the down arrow until the letters begin to come together. And I want each letter touching the other. I'm going to pull it over here so we can see it a little better. This looks pretty good. The Y and the O aren't touching. So in order to fix that, I need to right click, ungroup. And what that did was separate the basic font layer from the shadow layer. So while I'm here, I'm just going to turn that shadow layer on and delete it. Okay, and now I'm going to click on it again, right click and ungroup. And this time that's going to separate my letters so that each letter is individual. I'm going to move my Y over and make sure it is touching. All right, and now I'm going to select all of my letters, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to weld. And now this is all one piece. I'm going to go over to the layers panel. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to change this to white. And I'm going to copy, paste, paste, paste. I actually want eight copies of this, so four more times. Okay. So I'm going to take four of the copies and set them down here. I'm going to take one copy 
and I'm going to line it up about right here, kind of centered towards the top. I'm going to have another one kind of right there. I have another one right there. I have another one right here. And I'm kind of lining that up so that the where the A is, that green line is just below that center. Okay, now I want to make sure that these are all lined up. So I'm going to click on the top one and I'm going to look at the X coordinate. It's at 1.83. So let's go to the next one and let's change that to 1.83. And the next one, change the X to 1.83. And the final one. 1.83. So now I know those are all perfectly lined up. I'm going to click on the top one. I'm going to go to the layers panel where it's highlighted. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on gray. Then I'm going to close that window. I'm going to, while that is selected, I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to select that base layer. And I'm going to go over here to the layers panel and flatten. Don't worry, everything's still there. Let's click on this. Let's go Arrange, and let's move it to the back. OK. Now we're going to click on this one. Go over here to the Layers panel where it's highlighted. I'm going to click on that gray. But this time I'm going to go up just a little ways from where that gray is picked. Because I want this one to be a little bit lighter, and even a little lighter than that. That looks good. Close it out. While that's selected, hold the shift key, select the base layer, and we're going to flatten again. Go to Arrange, oops, select the card base, go to Arrange, move to back. Let's select the next one, select it in the Layers panel, click on the gray, and let's go straight up, even lighter than the last one. And then we're going to close it out. Hold our shift key, select the card base, flatten. Okay, now the fun part. Let's go select our card base, arrange, let's move it to the back. Now this one I'm actually going to cut out. And I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to glue all four of these together and I'm going to glue this piece on top. So what we need to do is attach that. I want it to cut out so the half of these letters are going to be green and half of them are going to be white. But we have to attach it so that it knows we want it cut out of that card base. So what we're going to do is select everything and you can either right click or you can go over here and hit attach. Now what just happened is it thinks I want to print that white layer and I really just want to cut it. So it automatically turned it to print because we attached it and the card base was attached. So I'm going to go over here in the layers panel and where that print eye image is on this white layer, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to change that to cut. Okay. And that's all there is to this card. This is going to print this image. It's going to cut this out of the stripe and we're going to cut four thank yous and we're going to glue those together so that it can add dimension behind this cut. The other trick I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all the white pieces out of the Cricut uh, printable sticker paper and that's going to make layering these pieces really easy and it's, it's sticker paper on one side it's sticky and the other side is like cardstock. So let's hit go and see what happens. Okay, you see I have my base here, and it's going to print this out, and then it's going to come back and it's going to cut this layer, and then I have all my thank you layers, and I'm going to line them up like this because the printer paper, or the sticker paper, is 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to, actually I'm going to pull them down here, I always use that corner of my mat. It's just Move it down here a little bit. 
This is the Cricut printable sticker paper. It's cardstock with a sticky back on it. I'm going to load this in my printer. You can see I don't have a fancy printer. This is just an HP inkjet. I'm going to load it in my printer. Cardstock side down. I'm going to hit print and continue. And I can set it up for my printer. I'm going to set it up for my HP 8600 letter. Okay. I always print on brochure mat paper type setting and I'm going to put it on best because the printing is important on this card and I'm going to hit print. You can see it printed. It didn't print that white thank you. We're going to cut that now. I'm going to load the paper on my mat. I'm going to set the dial on custom. I'm going to change the setting to sticker paper printable Cricut and I'm going to hit go and you can see it's detecting the registration marks And as soon as it finishes this last registration mark, it's going to go back to the top of the page and then prepare to cut. Now it's going to cut the outline. We can open it or release it and it has cut through this is sticker paper so I'm just going to leave it on there and I'm going to turn it over because I'm going to cut the rest of the letters out of the other end load I'm going to leave the custom setting the same and hit go. Okay, so we have printed and cut everything that we need. I'm going to unload. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but the letters are cut. And again, it's sticky paper. So let's go assemble. Okay, so I have my piece of cardstock that we cut out. This is the sticky back sticker paper. And this is just a plain piece of white cardstock, which I'm going to cut in half. It's eight and a half by 11, so I'm going to cut it in half at five and a half. I'm going to fold it in half.
Okay, and now I'm going to run some adhesive all across this area where the thank you is going to be. And you'll see why in a minute. Just want to make sure it's pretty well covered. Okay, and now I'm going to peel up my sticker paper. I'm going to place it on the front of the card. And now you see this is sticky underneath of here. I still have my green and white thank you here. But I'm going to pick up one of my white copies. And I'm going to place that right inside that blank. You want to make sure it's lined up pretty good. It should fit right down flush in there. And then I need the U. And on this very first layer, I'm going to put the blank in the middle of the O. And I'm also going to put the, the little piece that goes in the middle of the A. And these are super tiny, so it helps to use some tweezers. But I'm only going to do that on the first layer. Okay, and now I'm going to grab the next one. And this is what's great, is this is already has adhesive on the back, so it makes this step super easy. I'm going to layer that one on top. Okay, so all we're left with is the striped layer. So I'm going to grab that and do the exact same thing. And I want to make sure that green layer is lined up with the card base green layer. And that's it. There's our finished card. We have the ombre effect and then it goes down into this dimensional piece that adds just a little bit of something special. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give me a thumbs up.